Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back with some Stalker Anomaly. Escape from Pripyat 3.0. I want to start the video off by saying that there is a military guy right there. Where'd he go? He's dead now. Alright, so that was a good start to the video. My name is Snooze, and uh, there are more of them. The Agroprom is definitely the home of, uh, of military. This is where you spawn when you, when you play as the military. And uh, there are definitely going to be more ambushes like that. Now our arm is shot to shit, and uh, I'm hoping that we can avoid using our serve 12 for a while longer. I want to start the video off by saying that there have been a bunch of problems with my uploads uh, that I cannot control. I'm trying constantly, I've been trying so much to record in ridiculous sizes which I'm doing right now because I did upload a video privately to see what it looked like and um, it was definitely closer to a high resolution than than it is in any other video but I I can't seem to fix this so I just wanted to be said out loud that I have been trying for a while but it's just not working out. I, I think it's because maybe I'm a small time small time uh, streamer or uh, you know I upload videos uh, don't have any views, don't have any subscribers. I don't know if this is the cause. I don't know what what it's like having a YouTube channel that is you know that it has exploded. I don't know if that matters uh, but if that is the case then the only thing I can do is keep uploading and uh, I hope that you guys aren't going to be too upset with the quality of the videos. Uh, right now he cannot carry anymore, which I don't know why I haven't sold off some of these things. I see the gauze batteries here. Uh, but that means we're not going to be able to loot anymore now because I don't want to run through this place completely overweight and uh, unable to loot um, or uh, unable to sprint and such. So we're going to have to make do with what what we got. Let's see what's on the agenda for tonight. So we have a stash all the way up north. Mm. Northwest, northeast, sorry. Uh, cylinders on grave. That would be worth uh, checking out. And then we have the uh shipment down here. Here we might as well. And we only bring the essentials. This is when a uh, basic toolbox will drop, just watch. Uh, normally they will be fi found in... Uh, inside of uh, the purple stashes. But maybe we're lucky, who knows. I could take the cocaine. But it lasts for, I don't know, 20 minutes. And we're taking radiation here now and we can't sprint, so this is amazing. Oh, come on, just get me out of the yellow zone, please! This is not ideal for our situation right now. There we go. Let me have that vodka off of you. Uh, I also forgot we had the dirty water, which we could have uh, probably purified by that... Uh, at that um, campfire. That we passed just now uh, in the beginning of uh, Agroprom, but we got we we took fire, so I was kind of uh, I didn't really pay attention to what we had around us at the time being. I'm gonna have a sip of vodka, even though that's definitely not the best thing to do right now. There's a stash here. Oh, of course, a survival cache. Damn. That brings us immediately to the red zone. Yeah, we're gonna have to 
pick this up another time. That kind of sucks. To be honest, I'm not actually... What? Who was that? What are you shooting at, bro? I'm not sure what he's uh, shooting at right now. Are those mercenaries? If he is, he, he doesn't seem to care for me at all. Oh my god. I ended up going back to the flea market mm. to trade off some of the items that we have on us. Also, now that we're here, I'm gonna be taking a look at uh, the possibility of uh, cleaning the water that we have on us. Um. Oh, damn it. There we go. Sell that off. Right, we got to sell. And that does indeed have a bunch of good stuff on it, but we don't have what we need to carry it right now. So let's put that in the box right there and try and remember it that when the day comes. Let's see if this guy will buy some stuff off of us. We are carrying a lot of pistol mags right now. Right, so this guy's probably just gonna take what we have in our inventory here. Um. Let's go ahead and sell these things. And then we can buy some more ammo as well. We are still quite overweight, but honestly, I think we're just gonna have to deal with this for now. Worst case scenario, we do have the cocaine. That will probably help us in when, when the time comes. Now, f to find out if we can purify the water. Boil. And boil. There we go. You just need a uh, fireplace and then you have some clean water. So that is good, indeed. Let's drop a quick save here and back to the Agriprom. Right, so I actually decided to go for Rostock instead. Uh, just to kind of get some missions completed and also start a new mission for Mangun. We do have delivered the package. So I've taken the package out of our companion's inventory. And uh, I'm just mainly hoping for some good stuff from Mangun because we definitely need to visit a uh, technician for a possibility of upgrading our AK-74. So now I did hear dogs around here. There are usually some dogs in this vicinity, vicinity, and I do see something big over there. Hopefully our companion, yeah, he's definitely in combat right now. So let's wait until they come for us. My aim is garbage. And we got him. Okay. So I'm thinking we loot these and uh, bring the parts back to the butcher once we're done in Rostock. Because our objective is... Our objective still remains the same. We are going to, to Agriprom. Just making a detour here since uh, Rostock has a trader as well as a main story mission. I'm just worried about what this guy is shooting at right now. Let's drop a quick save. Yeah, I see what he's shooting at. Alright, I don't know who just died. Alright, it was definitely not our companion at least. So, okay, we, we looted them all, I think. Right. So, we have two objectives right now. 
We have killing the dogs as our primary primary oh There we go. Take some more parts. Yeah, so our primary mission will be to find the guy who wants a cache in here somewhere. Um Okay, never mind, uh, I think. We have a trigger mechanism here, but this one is dirty. Uh, the barrel, we might as well bring along to see if we can fix that somehow. Uh, so right now, I, I'm guessing we just uh, load in some more mags, some more bullets in our mags. And then we start communicating with people to see what they have to offer us. So this one is a good one. Interdict the, the enemy forces, bandit in the garbage northwest of the swamp. So we might mm -hmm. as well do that since we're going back to the garbage. Uh, my main concern right now is ammo, functional weapons, and um, money. Money is always good in the zone. You can never have too much of it. Uh, that one we might as well do. It's in rub stock. No trading. We do not have Chimera meat whatsoever. Uh, not even close to having that. We could sell this guy some of these parts, but I honestly think we should stick with them. We should hold. We should hold tight uh, until we get back to Butcher. So honestly, right now all we can do is ask for some missions. There was nothing back there, but we I do know of a few stashes as well along the road uh, throughout um, throughout Rostock, so we could as well we might as well just take a look and uh, see what we can find. We are getting close to our limit here at 50 kilos, but I'm just thinking that we go ahead and uh, pick up as much as possible so we can trade it off. I usually talk to this guy through the bars. Dog liver. Do we have three dog livers? We do. So why not? I don't mind if I do. Uh, mm -hmm. Right there, and the job is done. We got a stash location, as well as 1,500 rubles. I hate these things. They are so fucking annoying. God damn it. When did we even... Ah, oh, of course. Of course! So this time we got a stash, a toolbox. So let's open that, sacrificing 10% to see what we get. We got two horse figurines and they're worth uh, somehow, some money, somehow. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so... Let's keep these things. Right, I forget to show this stash as well. It's uh, if you continue down the road from where the entrance is to it's uh, right here, and then we also have the one stash that I went through over here. Let's see if it's uh, if there are any different items. So I did give the item, the animal parts, to our companion here. Uh, let's see if we can carry... Right, so that's about as good as we're gonna get. And... There we go. I'm gonna quick save again. Because in the army warehouses, west of the road to the radar... I don't know about that, we might not be going that way, sir. And then we do have some of these f fatal leaves on the ground here. But if you go up this ladder, there is a stash just behind here. For us, it was empty. Don't know if this is where. Yeah, there's a box here. Better than nothing. There's some rubles. Okay, okay. Now, I'm thinking that we go ahead and. Uh, Go straight for, for Mangun, the technician of uh, duty. Because we're overweight like crazy. 
and uh, sell off as much as we can to him, basically. Now, there are some quests around here that we can pick up for Petrov, Petr Petrov something, I think. As well as uh, by just talking to random strangers. Let's see what they have. Just a way to make some quick money while we're still in in this part of uh, duty base of Rostock. So oh, let's go ahead and trade this guy some of these items. We want to keep this barrel. It's at fifty percent. Now we could re we could replace our barrel, our damage barrel in the SKS for that one. Um, let's just sell off as much as possible. We got seven steel wools. I think three should suffice for now. That's about as good as it's going to get for this guy. Let's take that neutralization mission as well. Uh, we can upgrade, but don't know if it's worth it right now. We got 18k. We might want to save up some more money first and then come back to him. Let's just see if there's anything else we can actually trade him. Um, no, everything else is for butcher. We can sell these Swiss knifes, knives to some random stalker. Uh, just decide on which one is most worth keeping. Yeah, so we do definitely have a few things to take care of before we get to Agriprom. I wanted to get there as soon as possible, but uh, I, I do get a feeling that we definitely need to... to watch our inventory and stuff like that before we get there. Let's see what the bartender's got for us. I like to ask like just about anyone uh, for missions, anything that goes along with the lines of uh, neutralization or... Uh, yeah, just taking care of problems for people. There's a lot of people in this bar. I'm not going to talk to each and every one of them, but might as well go ahead and loot this box at least. There's some fancy stuff in there. Some more vodka. Whoa, people's been generous this day. Holy crap. I never pick up more than like two or three items. This is uh, absurd. Let's see, any work you want done? Soul artifact, no capture documents eventually uh, kill the mercenary in the wild territory eventually this one we do not right now all right let's take that snork snork mission to uh, the odds of running into a snork are kind of minimum at the moment but we definitely have a chance of doing so once we get to uh, to Agriprom, they like that area for some reason. 